Hello. We've got some new dinosaurs this March. Uh, plus, um, I got an, an Allosaurus recently. This uh, Wave 3 Allosaurus. Well, we'll talk about the details later. Um, before that, disclaimer, um, I just opened it like a few days ago and these new dinosaurs are still inside their box. So if you want to look at the box for this guy, you can check it out at my uh, my Catrosaurus review or Baryonyx Chaos review. Uh, Bumpy the Ankylosaurus's review, Rhino the Ceratosaurus review, they are just the same dinosaurs with the same actions. I mean like not the same species though, but they are all dinosaurs. Um, now let's get into the details of this Allosaurus. Now I've got all these three uh, together, but first we gotta take a look at this guy first. Okay, now just like any other Allosaur, um, they actually change the, um, what's it called? the head sculpt which has a more lining right here more spikes and no this one comes with spikes just like the other ones uh this one has a more detailed um scaly skin with um more bigger crests and but on the but to on the bad side the face on the front looks like a dog like seriously looks like a dog um, now, what I mean by the head sculpt has changed, like if we look over at the, ow, the 2018 Allosaurus, you can see that the head sculpt is way different. Like, it's more blunt, there's those spikes, it's more slimmer. Well, this one on the other hand is actually much more bulkier. Um, they said they're gonna make another Allosaurus uh, at this year. But I think it's going to either come out in June or in September with some other dinosaurs. Other than that, uh, we could see here that everything is just the same. Except for this one where, the, where, this, uh, where his, her right leg is like uh, more of a... What's it called? More... Like more like shorter than this other leg here. And as you can see, his is just the same as this. And hold on. Here's the scan code. If you want to scan it, please scan. And then we're gonna take a look at these other at at the I didn't get the battle at Big Rock one from Dino Rivals. Cause it kind of looks boring to me. The, the detail on it is just okay, just like these two other ones, but instead it's more like ugh. So first we have um, wave, ah, my god, everything's in chaos. So we got like the 2018's Roar of War Allosaurus, uh, wave three Dino Escape Allosaurus, and wave two's Allosaurus. And I thought of getting a fourth one, uh, since Dominion will be coming out with a lot of new toys and yeah now and that's it for the Allosaurus uh, if you want to check out the box painting uh, check out when my last video not the hi it's my one year anniversary um, the one with Pierce the Ketrosaurus or maybe Bumpy the Ankylosaurus now before we uh, begin with the new dinosaurs I just want to say that if you get a dinosaur more than 150 ringgit in Malaysia, you will get this awesome kids cap where it can't fit in my headphones though. It can't fit in my headphones, but it works. Hold on, hold on. Uh, let me take it off. Uh, uh, sorry for my mom. She's talking. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the dino. Here's the cat. I got like a T-Rex. There's only two types of cats. There's one with blue and one with Rexy. And as you can see here, the detail on the cat has like uh, spikes, a small sticker, and the dinosaur itself. So, um, I'm gonna put this back. And I'm gonna put back my headphones. And let's get on with the dinosaur review. Woo! Well, which one do I want to open first? Like, I don't know. Why don't we start with Mashekasaurus? 
get Zuni Ceratops and Shringosaurus out of the way. Um, and let's open it up. Jurgen! Ow. God. Okay. I don't want to damage this dude. Obviously. Ah! Ah! Okay, thank goodness. Oh, uh, no, there's a little clip there, right at the end there. Ah, uh, I have terrible scissors. There we go. Ah! Now, before we get into the figure, let's get into the box. Okay, now, as you can see, uh, this Dinoscape box is actually different from the rest. Like, these three. It doesn't have Toro or Darius or any of the campers on them. It just has blue and dino scape because it's not because none of these dinosaurs are like in camp cretaceous or whatever uh but instead we got it we still got that beautiful scenery right here and then we got the fierce force um if you guys don't know how to pronounce it it's either i call it masiakasaurus like our malay like our asian like how we asians call it or maybe or Mashakasaurus. Like, shake it! <laughs> and as you can see here, we got the Dinoscape uh, pattern again. And we got Jurassic World logo. And as you can see here, we got uh, three other dudes uh, Monolophosaurus, Dyracosaurus, and a new character, Tanistrophius. And you can see here, Ford striking. So if you press a button, unlike the other dinosaurs, you can see that the, like any of these three, there's a button over here where you can like move the head and, uh, but you can actually move the mouse however you want. Anywho, let's get on with the figure. Um, now the figure here, he has a nice painting to him. Like I'm not joking. This color is amazing. Like, hold on. Like, look at this. This color is awesome, man. Like, you can see, like, it's got, uh, like a leopard, like a leopard pad on. And it's purple. Oh, I love purple. Or maybe this is maroon or magenta. I don't know. Uh, then after that, we got some more detail here on the body. Uh, like, it's very scaly and a bit rough. I think it's a bit dusty for me. Uh, then we got the head which doesn't have any posability like you can't you can't swivel it you can just go up and down like the head once you pull back the neck like this the head just stays that way arms also spread out like but his arm his hands go like this doesn't go like this like any other dinosaur his legs is okay this part here is a bit loose and uh here you go the Jurassic World Monolophosaurus Mashegasaurus scan code. It says, please scan. Okay. We're done. Please pause it if you want. And then the tail here is just bland. But at least it's got some detail here. And then you can swivel the neck full 360. But it's going to be a bit tight. And then after that, you got like some crocodile ridges here. And then some spikes here. And now let's get to the action. Um, which is <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> it, It's got like an awesome uh, uh, Like um, like he's like he's vibing dude like he's vibing like saw it Apparently, if you put any song on him, he'll just like, he'll just like go like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then after that, that's the whole thing. But you can actually, it doesn't move the mouse though, but you can move the mouse however you want. Like, go like, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> then you can close the mouse also. Like, if you close the mouse while doing this, he looks like he's break dancing. But if you open the mouth, he's like attacking you. Like, oh no, it doesn't even hurt at all. And just like him, just like uh, me, he's got buck teeth too. Mashekasaurus, well, the teeth here look okay though. It's just that 
It doesn't close them out fully though. And yeah. So now that uh, we're done with Masakiasaurus, or Masaka, Masakiasaurus, I usually call it Masakiasaurus. <laughs> Uh, let's move on to the next dinosaur, which is Zuniceratops. My smallest ceratopsian I've ever got. It damaged the box a bit though, just to get him out and fix it back together. But anyways, here it is, Zuniceratops. Um, I'm just gonna do a short review of this because it doesn't have any action. It could just like move the head and yeah. It could just like pose itself and that's it. But anyway, uh, let's start with the head. Head looks great, not gonna lie, but it's gonna need some like patterning over here. Like a bit of patterning, like a bit of yellow here, maybe. Eyes look great as well, and the horns look amazing. Next up is the body. Body looks okay, but the legs look uh, thin. The legs look skinny, and this is just like a bulky dinosaur. Um, and Zuni Ceratops isn't that big. It's actually the size of a bull. So he's at, that's why he's classified as the small dinosaurs, um, like the wild pack. Uh, then after that, we got some painting here with the bl dark blue. And then, can we twist it? No, we can't. We can't twist its tail though, even though it has a line here. So the only, um, the only uh, joysticks it moves is its head, where it got a 360. 360 up and down that's how far it can go look up and that's how far it can look down and then can can it move the head can it move the legs uh, it can it can move from full 360 what about the back legs oh yeah it can uh, so yeah I, I don't think this might be necessary but I'm just gonna do it so here's the scan code for the Zuni Ceratops since like um, if anybody didn't like um, downloaded Jurassic World Facts app, you could see uh, you will know what to do with the dinosaur like this. Just scan it, and then you, and then the dinosaur is in the game, and you can learn facts about it. So yeah. Anyways, uh, this is the review for the Zuni Ceratops, and on to the final creature. I'm not gonna call it a dinosaur since it came out from the Permian period, a place where dinosaurs didn't exist yet. The, the, the Shringasaurus. I'm not racist, but it sounds Indian. I completely forgot about reviewing doing the I completely forgot about reviewing the box about the wild pack. So I'm just gonna do it right now. So just like that one, we got blue and um, the beautiful background here. The name. I'm not racist at all. It just sounds Indian. Okay? Now that that out of the way, here's Dino Escape, the name. Um then we got Ramphorhynchus, Shringosaurus, Mononychus, and Velociraptor. Yeah. So that's it. And then after that for Zuniceratops, we got Herarosaurus, Dimorphodon, Dracorex, and this thing. And Zuniceratops as well. So now let's take a look at uh, Shringosaurus. Uh, as you can see, this guy isn't a dinosaur at all. It's actually a creature from the Permian period, a place where dinosaurs didn't exist yet. And and, and you, you you know dim if, if 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 oh my god I can't talk. If anyone um, knows what Dimetrodon is, you would know that this thing actually lived with Dimetrodon. So yeah. Now just like Zuniteratops, it doesn't have like um too much. Uh, attention to detail and when we get started with the details you can see just take a look at the scan scan it okay there we go it's still pause it and pause the video just look okay um there we got like just like the Zuni Ceratops, this thing's uh yellow but instead of like normal instead of that yellow it's mustard yellow with a bit of brown and it's got horns which what i think carnotaurus would have but instead it just has normal horns uh yeah so it has nice detail on it tiny spikes a little bit there 
but this thing looks inaccurate for some perspectiveness but I'm okay with it um, mouth opens mouth opens as usual uh, full 360 on the neck that far down and that far up then we got legs uh, spread out spread out legs uh, full 360 like always and then another full 360 so yeah not that much to detail but at least it's a nice detail and just like Zuni Ceratops hold on I forgot yeah it can do a 360 full 360 on its head as well so hold on let me bring the Alice uh, here's and here's all of their comparison to each other and Apparently, out of all of them, Mashaikasaurus has to be the least heaviest, but the tallest out of them. And by Shringosaurus being the heaviest out of all of them, but the smallest. Uh, so now that we got all that covered, let me just bring this Allosaurus here. Um, and the cap. Let me just bring the cap here. And the boxes as well. And yeah, so that's it. Um... Hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and I'll see y'all next time. Uh, bye. Uh, before we go, I thought of like saying like, uh, maybe I might be doing a review on some Dominion dinosaurs that will come out on April. Who knows? If I get that green Ceratosaurus from this from Wave Three of the Allosaurus with this Allosaurus and Pierce the Ketrosaurus. I'm gonna stop collecting Dinoscape dinosaurs and moving on to Jurassic World Dominion's dinosaurs. So yeah. Oh, uh, thanks for watching guys. Hope you like the video. Leave a like. I don't know if you can leave a comment though. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.